Yesterday, we learned about a man named Noah and a flood that covered the whole earth. After the flood, things got better, but it still wasn't perfect. God still felt so far away. And the world, which was intended to be filled with life and laughter and beauty, was filled with wrong and sin and darkness. But God had a plan, and this time there was no flood involved. God would use the best part of his creation, his people, and he set the plan in motion with a man named Abraham. You see, Abraham and his wife Sarah were both getting older, and they didn't have any children. But God said to Abraham, Abraham, I know you don't have any children, but one day you're going to have a huge family. You will be the father to an entire nation. There will be more people in your family than there are stars in the sky. Um, that's insane. Have you guys looked up at a clear night sky and tried to count the stars? It is impossible. Abraham looked up at the night sky and didn't even try counting. You see, there are millions and millions and millions of stars in the sky. Abraham didn't know what to say to God which worked out okay because God still had more to say to Abraham. He said, Abraham, you will have such a large family, and through your family, the entire world will be blessed. What Abraham didn't know is that God was referring to a special child who would be born. This child would be born to fix the relationship between God and all of the people on earth. God would again come to earth. Abraham and his wife Sarah laughed at God. Definitely not one of their finer moments. They thought God was crazy. They were old and old people don't have babies, right? It was a crazy promise. God came back to Abraham multiple times and continued to point him to the stars. He continued to show him the night sky and make that same promise over and over and over again. God repeated that promise. Even though it sounded crazy, Abraham trusted God. And sure enough, just as God had promised, Sarah and Abraham had a baby boy, and they named him Isaac, which means son of laughter, which is pretty fitting. Abraham and Sarah laughed again, but this time they were laughing with God because God had done the impossible, and it was an amazing thing. It was a little glimpse of heaven breaking through. Maybe, they thought, maybe God really will come back. God told Abraham to do a lot of scary things throughout the rest of his life, like leave his home and go to a brand new place. And Abraham listened. But Abraham wasn't perfect and he didn't always obey. He did things in his life that made God's heart really sad. He hurt other people and God couldn't remain. Sin drove him away. So Abraham and Sarah began to hope and to pray, God, will you come back to stay? Tonight, I encourage you and your family to go outside and look up at the night sky. See how many stars you can count. And remember the promise that God made Abraham. God keeps his promises. God loves you so much and he is with you. I will see you guys tomorrow as we continue learning about the greatest story of all time.